Welcome back to the world of free room service breakfast, or I should say, included. We've got coffee. Oh, veg frittata. This should be two bowls of granola cereal with milk and whatnot. Coffee cups. This is, uh oh, can I get the lid off? Yep, there is part of a bagels with salmon and lox. That would be the bagel. We got some toast and underneath. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Nice. Good, Good morning. morning from Half Moon Key. We've been told we're officially here. Yeah, so they came over the horn there at exactly 8 o'clock and said, Hey, if you're ready to get off and get on the tender boats, come on down to Deck 2 Midship. A little different than we're used to. We're used to collecting a tender ticket, but we haven't seen that you have to do that at all here, so it's just kind of a free-for-all. But their ships, even their big ships, aren't that big, mm. so maybe that's why. So we'll go and see how it is. But we've got a Stingray excursion lined up yeah. for later today. So that's at about 11. Mm -hmm. It's 8-ish now. So we're going to head over, probably get our swim on. Oh, yeah. And go do this Stingray thing. Let's do it. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I just saw a scale and I got scared. Okay, that's for luggage. Well, we have found the line. Oh, I see it is moving. So that's pretty good. Oh, I got to say, I like how organized it is so far. Move. That's tender 2.30. All right, watch your step, watch your head. All right, now we just wait for the rest of these benches to fill up. We'll be good. One, head to the beach. Yeah, we'll come in here to this little fountain, hang a left. Information hut is where we'll meet for our tour later. Half Moon Beach. They got locker rentals over here, water sport rentals, and the ocean. Ooh, the tide is pretty high today. There's not as much beach as usual. How's our temperature feeling? Oh, that's not bad. And it's always nice and sandy here, so we are not doing water shoe mode or anything like that. No. We're going to head down to our favorite wall for some snorkeling. Bye. She is over there talking to fish at the disco already. We are going to have a spin. We have finally made it to Half Moon Key on Holland America Line. We're slowly checking off of these, you know, get to the private island on the cruise line that technically owns the private islands. This might be our last one for now. Did you know they're building a new property at Disney? They're building some stuff for Royal and Carnival, I think other places in the Bahamas. <sighs> now, we relax. Oh, there is a sea urchin down there. I don't know if we usually encounter just random sea urchins, so yeah, be careful of uh, where you're stepping. I guess that's a sea urchin, right? It's one of those white-tipped thingamajigs that's at least urchin urchin adjacent yeah got to be careful because if you step on it you'll have an urchin Barry. emergency you found Barry yeah. here I am trying to make foreigner jokes and you're finding barracudas <laughs> urchin urchin I've, I've already made that joke at some point in the past
Ooh, we've just got confirmed sightings of a turtle. We've had two other sets of folks out here say, did you see the turtle? So D has gone off to see the turtle. Gosh, I know they got this grass here that they like. So that is cool. I've only ever seen a turtle here once before, I think. This is not very big, but you know, turtle's a turtle. We'll take it. Uh, no turtle spotting yet, but we've got word that there oh, might okay. be a big old barracuda. Hey. Oh gosh, right here by these stairs. Look at that guy. Oh, big guy, maybe he'll like me. to go see if we can seek out this turtle again. It is out here. D says this grass has grown up nice and green and strong and tasty. Just right for a turtle lunch. <laughs> Breakfast. It's early still. I would say a word of warning about Half Moon Key. You're not really supposed to swim past these buoys. See, our, our example here is D. Being a good girl, swimming on this side. Someone actually just jetted under the buoys. They've gone out to the point and they're now swimming on the far side of the uh, tender channel by those rocks. The lifeguards are sending the boat to pick that person up because that's not really the safest thing to be doing because um, tender, <laughs> here comes a tender boat, speak of. So yeah, they're out there by the rocks at the end of that thing, and that's not a good. Gravy, they had to go way out there to find this person. You know, they've been returned to safety down. I think they had started swimming back toward the ship for lunch. I don't know. Oh, these buoys here are so shiny and clean. And they just need a smack a buoy. Oh yeah, those are nice. Oh, we've just spied a shadow, and it is in fact a turtle-shaped shadow right at the buoy. I'm trying not to scare it so Mermaid D can get a peek. <gasps> but it's going just outside the buoy line. And as we've learned, we don't cross the buoy line. Oh, here he is gonna go pa just past the buoys. Hello, friend. Oh, Y'all, there are two turtles. We see one's head popping up out there. We got a little shadow down here. So it's a multiple tiny turtle day. <laughs> Look at his little head out there. Oh gosh, now I'm hearing people down there say turtle. Y'all, it's a turtle attack. It's a downright, we're experiencing the T-U-R-T-L-E power right now, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, I keep hearing turtle being spoken down there. We've got two out here. Giant barracuda swim right next oh. to my turtle, and I thought this is like the best half moon key day we've ever had. We just need some like Attenborough narration over that. We got some award-winning footage. We call, just swam next somebody to called a National Geographic. <laughs> yeah, with some successful turtle sightings under our belt, we are going to head ashore and get ready for some um stingrays. <laughs> Now we are back in land mode. Let's hit this little foot wash up here by the return to ship area. Well, we were curious to know if Half Moon was equipped for Wi-Fi if you come here on Holland by chance, because we know it doesn't work if you come here on Carnival, but I don't see any networks that look a promising. So I'm gonna say that's a no. Oh, looks like we might be about to get some tunes. We did have to go scan our tickets up at the information hut, and then they said they will gather us when the tour time comes. They make announcements, and they say, come on for your tour. Well, there's some of the announcements. Eleven o'clock departure. You are needed at the fountain. We are ready to go. Yeah, they've called horseback riding, eco lagoon cruise, bike riding. Bike riding. 
Stingray Adventure. That's us. Right, let's head off to the tram station. Oh, there it is back there, number three on the map. I've never really paid too much attention to that section. Up we go. Woohoo, front row seat. Wow. <laughs> and we're off. We're in GoPro mode because it's a little damp. <laughs> This must be our spot. Stingray Adventure. Oh gosh, I got snorkels and everything on down there. All right, we're gonna make our way in here and put our stuff in a locker. So she said GoPros and phones are fine. Uh, water shoes are encouraged, but no flip-flops or sandals because the Stingrays do like to suck on toes. I'm wearing my water shoes. <laughs> and we actually both have gotten some nice new little fan packable water shoes, which are in our Amazon shop, <laughs> parodj.com slash Amazon, and they fit really well. So this will be my first time actually using them for real. Hey. Stingray art. More Stingray art. All right, we're heading down. <laughs> life jackets are required they do have a backbone it is very sharp it's like a razor blade it can cut you that's why you're only petting their wings up and down side to side all right let's get in some water they're like water puppies black pancakes water and puppies <laughs> Yeah. Steps down into the water. Yeah. All right, Mermaid D is ready. We are going to institute shuffle feet mode. Oh, there come some friends. So they said the oldest is 19 years, the youngest is three years. sort of trained to interact and be around human and calls them water puppies but they do have their barbs because when hurricanes come they release them you know so that they can protect themselves stingray spin oh wow there really are stingrays in my stingray spin how about that there's a lot of jellyfish uh, yeah i didn't know if you'd be able to see it oh jellyfish fish stingrays <laughs> oh wow you've got a whole fish army Hey friend, I've hidden my toes. No toe sucking today, sadly. Oh, that's good. We are here at high tide. The water is probably, well, I'm six foot five and it's like above the belly button. I see you back there, little friends. There's some big boys, or girls actually, right? None of them are boys, they're all girls. Beautiful. Thank you for seeing your favorites. This is this. This is the Oh, you're so sweet. Do you see anything good out here? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> This is cool. We've been to other ones where pretty much all you do is stand in a circle and you know you get to feed them and all that stuff. But this is like, I mean, I'm sure we're going to do that too, but free rum snorkel time. I like it. Oh, the rains have returned, but she's calling us to go make a circle. It's feeding time. Oh, we have joined the circle. <laughs> They're tickling these legs over here. Oh, he bumped into me. Hey, friend. Oh, he wants to get through. All right, you can go through. None shall pass. Oh, the water's starting to smell like fish now. Whoop, here they come. They're like, yes, that smells nice. Oh, wow. There we go. All right, thumb down. We got geared up for our food. Thumb down, lock the thumb. They're right behind me. Yes, they are. They're excited. All right. All right, baby. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> it, it, there we go. There we go. That was a very gentle stingray I had. Yay! Oh, at least my phone nice. this time. <laughs> Success. Look at that. Beautiful. That was some, much more pleasant. Gentle stingrays. Oh, yeah. Wash your hands oh, away yeah. from you. Don't touch your clothes because oh, your clothes like will smell like fish. Whoever doesn't get a show, we got something else for you. Everybody pass it down. Oh, we've got, I guess that's Karik in there, yeah? Or some such a thing. Wow. Flip it upside down like this. Oh. And do not drop it. Okay. Oh, your little friend has come out there. Oh, here comes mine. Oh, friend. Everyone, what's inside the shell? Gunk. Oh, yeah, he's just like, oh, yeah, flipped him over and put him back down, slurp right back into the shell. When you give her a chance, you got to say, Mwah. Everybody got that say for me? Mwah. Say, he's ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck her up, little Laura. Thank you. Come on, you're next. Say, Mwah. <laughs> Ready, girl? It's like a mushroom. <laughs> the cutest mushroom ever, though. She's going to show their back. Oh, it's <laughs> 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 To hold their nose. No. Okay, did everybody have fun today? Yeah. Again, everyone, thank you all for coming. That was my favorite interaction we've had with stingrays that, you know, you're not like finding, you know, in the ocean, right. like a, an activity, but like you actually got to swim with them and spend time and they're all so sweet. And we learned a lot actually, so this is awesome. I never knew this was on Half Moon Key. I knew they had stingrays, but I didn't know where you went. So yeah. This is a great activity if you're looking to do something for stingrays. For sure. mm -hmm. Awesome, I loved it. All right, let's go. <laughs> right, up we go. Give myself a hug. Yeah, we'll just turn our gear back in. Get the lockers. Oh, like our tram is coming. Side note, we didn't notice they actually had water shoes that they could give to you here. Those little thin kind like we brought that we have ourselves. So that was cool. There comes our bus. All aboard. Good. They made a stop here for folks who want to get off at the buffet. And we've heard from some folks that the buffet is the same as we've experienced before when we came here on Carnival. So I think I'm more excited to get on the ship yeah. and maybe try something unique to this ship or this cruise line. So we might hit the Grand Dutch Cafe for lunch. I think it's a good idea. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, we've eaten the burgers and dogs and stuff like that a lot of times. So if I can find... Whoa! That was the bottom step of um, scraping the ground. If I can find a sandwich and maybe a stroop waffle, I'll be in this. Oh. And we got the straw market, the gift shops, man's playing some music. I think we will go back by the information hut and hit back to the ship. Okay, we do the x-raying right up here before we get on the tender. That's right. Oh, they got the face towels. They got water. Yes. Right, we got a little hydration on. Now we're ready to tender. We got back to the cabin and there is, well, it, look, it looks kind of like an elephant face, but it's a stingray and he's guarding some awesome chocolates for us. <laughs> that is fitting. That's too appropriate. Notice they also put the luggage mat out because um, packing, packing has to happen today. No. Stingray. And now to the Grand Dutch Cafe. <laughs> Whoa, this is how I like to see this cafe. Okay, so people are doing lunch on the island. This is a perfect day to come here. Look at all this stuff. Okay, guys, you know we had to do it eventually. We got ourselves a boshe bowl or whatever it's called. Oh, they do have little stroop waffles you can buy. All right, we've asked about any sort of fresh made stroop waffles. Okay, and they said no such deal. Sliced 
into this beast. I'm curious to know the cream to puff ratio because essentially it's just a giant, okay, look at my hand, huh? <laughs> giant <laughs> cream puff covered in chocolate. Oh dear, okay, so there, there's a good amount of oh, hollowness chocolate. going inside. Yeah, chocolate, pastry cream. That's dangerous. Wow, we also got a couple of iced Americanos with sugar-free vanilla. These are extra. Uh, yeah, that's a charge, but all of the food that we've ordered is included. Well, we started with dessert. Whew. Get that thing. If you come on one of these, as what is it? The newest three as of right now. Yo, pinnacle class. See, Dino's knows all the fancy words. <laughs> Koenig's dumb, New Stoughton dumb, Rotterdam. Get one of them dumb big puffs over there, because that was tasty. Share it. Share it, please. It's so big. And to be included. Oh, all right, we're waiting on our main meal now. Yeah, I don't know if I, I kind of said earlier, but um, I had asked about a, did, if they did Stroop waffles, like I didn't know if they make them fresh, but the only ones that they had are the ones that you can buy at the counter. So I've had those before. So I'm gonna pass on that. Do they make them fresh on any ship? Please tell me, because I need to go on that ship if they're making fresh Stroop waffles. But not today. Oh, these vegetable quiche is up first. Comes with a cute little side salad, so it looks just like you. Yum. Well, I have ordered the little veal croquette type thing on a bun. So I guess it's basically, yeah, just like a fried veal croquette. They also brought an order. What are you doing over there? That's dangerous. <laughs> Growing food, apparently. <laughs> uh, they brought an order of pea soup, which I didn't order, but I mean, I love the pea soup. So hey, I had ordered uh, Dutch pancakes, so we'll see if those come out. But yeah. There it is, Dutch pancake with apples and bacon. So I guess you just roll it up, dip it, dunk it, whatever you want to do. They also had like a triple berry version, but I thought, let's go a little savory with it. <laughs> oh, I see, yeah, the inside of the croquette is kind of like a pasty mousse consistency, but it's got a nice crunch on the outside. Now it is time for a return to the cabin for showers, probably packing, working. And then we'll probably just hop back out for dinner, so that's dinner funny. Evening festivities. Yes. Boo. Good What's evening. Up? Good evening. We are sliding into dinner mode. Yes. So all fresh and clean. Mm -hmm. Let's catch you up. How was your Stingray day? Actually, how was your whole day in Half Moon Key? Today was one of my favorite days we've ever had on Half Moon. Um, just from like everything we did, mm. I enjoyed. Like the snorkeling was really good. Mm -hmm. totally. There's like turtles everywhere. There's seagrass coming in, so that brings them in there. I saw the biggest barracudas, lots of like schools of like tornado fish is what I call them. You'll see, or you will have already seen that. Um, and then the stingray encounter was awesome. What mm -hmm. I loved is that you got to like swim with them and hang out. And then the guides were super knowledgeable and it was just a fun experience. And I think all ages would really like that. I think so too. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot of the stingray stuff we've done. Sometimes you feel rushed and, but this one, no. I, I love the actual swimming and snorkel time before yeah. you went into group mode and got to to feed it and kiss it and all that stuff. We had like almost over an hour, like just a little bit over yeah. an hour. So it was a really nice amount of time, honestly. Yeah, that's a good little add-on yeah. for Half Moon Key. Mm -hmm. So thanks to Holland America Thank Line you. for providing that excursion for us. That Super was awesome. <laughs> now, speaking of amazing, dinner time. Yes. So we're heading to Pinnacle Grill, which is the steakhouse concept on here. So not hungry. I know. We just ate <laughs> the Dutch Cafe at like, I don't know, just ahead of two o'clock or whatever time that was. We're going to make the best of it. Yo, mistakes <laughs> were made. I'm sure it's delicious. We'll, we'll go see how much we can get. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Here on deck two, just off the atrium. <laughs> Pinnacle. <laughs> Menu designed with Chef David Burke. Hmm. Let's take a peek down. We've got the wine list on page one. They do have a pairing with three three ounce pours. There is the cocktail page. They've got a table side option or their featured cocktails there. Appetizers, Ooh, including one exclusively by David Burke called Clothesline Candied Bacon. Oh. Good gracious, this menu. Okay, we've got a steak page. We've got classics, seafood, and vegetarian. All right, last page. Desserts and drinks. Let's admire our tableware while we're in here. <gasps> we'll admire our table mate while we're in here. They're trying to keep their D's in pinnacle. <laughs> 
Whoa, a whole bread basket has just showed up with all kinds of goodness in there. Wow. We also got two butters. I think he said this was like a garlic, and that's kind of a roasted red pepper model. Cream cheese. Mm. Well, Dee has gone with a little Sauvignon Blanc over there. I decided to try a yuzu margarita from their cocktail menu. Dee has started with the shrimp cocktail. Oh, here comes my big one. Here is my smaller appetizer, which is the crab cakes. Now, interesting, I've never seen crab cakes that look like that. <gasps> but I had to go for that clothesline bacon. So candied clothesline bacon. It's hanging out. It looks delicious. It's got pickles. Y'all, that is all crab in there. Okay. All right, I just had to come back in and update you. <laughs> Ooh, Dee's got the filet mignon. She's cutting in there now to make sure that the cook is good. Looks beautiful. Ooh. Thank you. I got the, I guess it's beef tenderloin with the lobster dumplings. Oh, here come the sides. Ooh, we got baked potato with all the trimmings, some mushrooms, and a beet and blue cheese salad. You know that's mine, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, they brought out a little pre-dessert, which looks very similar, if not identical, to what we had at Rudy's. We've got, like, the little pâté de fruit, dark chocolate, white chocolate, a uh, dark with gramonier, and a white with passion fruit. And this has coconut on the outside. Now, the waiter would not let the <laughs> not order a dessert, so we went key lime pie for her. She was going to skip it but it does look good it's pretty stinking big too <laughs> i got i think it was called the not so classic baked alaska it's made with cherry garcia ice cream ben and jerry's and it comes with a cherry's jubilee hmm, i'll cut into it let's cut into it and i'll show you there it is cherry garcia wow oh where's my wheelbarrow well, we hopped up to deck three now because they've got the luggage tags where you can choose if you want to check your bags in. Let's see, green was the late group. It's funny, yeah, the latest ones are obviously gone and the earliest ones are gone, but they've got these middle groups. So since we are not in a hurry, I think we're going to actually let them take our bags tomorrow. We'll take the latest available group, which is brown number two. Yeah, they make one announcement at the beginning of debarkation and then there are no more announcements. So that will put us in the 830 to 845 group. We can do that. Hey, where's purple? I want purple. <laughs> <laughs> Back down to deck two. Let's go see this last dance show. Oh, that's right. They're incorporating some billboard folks and some other performers tonight. So the show tonight is off the charts. Yeah, they've got kind of a dynamic little platform up there on the stage tonight. We'll have to see what that's going to be used for. We'll tell you about it afterwards, obviously, because can't record. Now, tonight's show, I am extremely excited for. Tonight's show is a pretty unique collaboration between our Billboard on Board performers, Tammy and Brian, our Step One Dance Company, and our BB King All-Stars. For Billboard Magazine has been charting the successes of some of the world's biggest recording stars for the last 100 years. And tonight, this incredibly talented company is going to hit the rewind button to celebrate some of those biggest hits right off the charts. So enjoy the show. It's me for the last time. I feel like we've gotten to know each other so well, but I'm just a voice reminding you that recording devices of any kind are not permitted at any time during the performance. If we do ever meet, please remember the wonderful times we got to spend together. And you had better not be holding a recording device. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening. Until we meet again. Back out into the world. Well, we're actually exiting the world stage. Well, we have landed here in the Rolling Stone Rock Room, finally for a night of rock and roll. Because the Billboard Onboard folks are off, because they were in the show. So no dueling pianos, but we can rock. Well, we were trying to guess what the first song would be, and Hootie and the Blowfish was not my first guess. But hey. <laughs> Well, I 
we go. Oh, Starry Night done with like toys and things. That's awesome. Good night. We are back in the cabin. I have to pack. He does. I did not do that earlier. Anyway, so let's wrap up our day. I guess we're gonna wrap up our day. Yeah. Let's do final thoughts of everything, and then we'll talk about dinner, because you know we put dinner last. It's sure. a weird gimmick, anyway. <laughs> so let's, I guess, work backwards. We ended at, well, besides the adult arcade. <laughs> Which <laughs> is not kind to us. <laughs> rock room. Love rock room, mm -hmm. such a good concept. I like that there's like somewhere to go for everybody and all your musical tastes, but yeah. they really rock, and I knew most of the songs. Hootie and the Blowfish yeah, that was oh, now. Yeah, we're sitting there like, where were they going to start with? And he's like, here comes Hootie and the Bluefish. And we laughed because we thought he was joking. Yeah. No, but they play really good music. They're and they're good. very, they're like mega talented. So mm -hmm. I'm really glad we got to get back in there and actually like I sit know. and watch a set instead yeah. of standing. And we were hoping to do dueling pianos, but they were off tonight. So they we missed all of the yeah. duelingness. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and back it up to the show. <laughs> the show was almost like seeing a dueling mm -hmm. pianos set with a little bit of dancing on the side. It was yeah. very heavily piano and mm -hmm. the piano singers, which I enjoyed overall. I did too. It was billboard hits and they took it all the way back to like the Beatles, Elvis, everything and into the modern day, like mm -hmm. Beyonce and Whitney and stuff. Well. I guess that's not modern day necessarily, but you know. It's modern enough. More modern, yeah. Compared to like, you know, Elvis. <laughs> it was good. I enjoyed that yeah. show a lot. All right, so we're going to skip over dinner. Mm -hmm. um, I guess let's just do uh, final thoughts, just random sentiments about our first time on Holland America Line. So overall, love it. Really uh, like all the extras that come with, you know, the same price tag is everybody would pay yeah. um you know lots of included food options that are really fun the bed is super comfortable is. the room is beautiful and big and has so much storage this is the cleanest we've ever kept the room because yeah, there's room for everything places to put stuff um weird things i like like the hair dryer that plugs in it's not the kind that's stuck in the drawer mm -hmm. it has a lot of power they include like, and a makeup mirror it plugs into the 220 nonetheless it so it saves an outlet anyway lots of outlets in the room actually like by the bed and everything um, TV stations, like lots mm. of included movies, room services included. The crew on here has been fantastic, so friendly. It's like that right mix of like professional, mm -hmm. but also take time to like get to know we'll you and things out. like that in every venue. So many smiles. I think we might have said that earlier. Yeah, maybe. but that's all right. This is a recap, so we can say um, stuff again. Dislikes, I guess. They don't have karaoke. Sure. <laughs> That's just a personal you, thing. You do miss that. A little more activities during the day. Mm. This is more of definitely a relaxed cruise. It's so, very chill. Um, you know, might be hard to find some things for some people, but they do have things like the art classes and some trivia and art auctions and, and typical things you would find. Um, and traditional shows. I yeah, think I miss those. I like the dance company, but I did miss traditional stage shows we're show people and i think that was our missing thing on here really yeah song and dance numbers yeah did i just sum everything you up? sum everything <laughs> up yeah my overall thoughts are just that it is extremely chill so yeah. like because actually a couple of people who've <laughs> recognized us on here have asked us how does this you know how do you feel about this mm -hmm. compared to carnival and we well, say it's, it's a little bit right because you know it's more of uh, carnival and then princess is even a more chill version of mm -hmm. that and then this is an even more chill version because they're all in the same family so you yeah. can you know you can kind of compare them but yeah think princess but more chill yeah but that's not a bad thing it's honestly not. like i've never felt so relaxed and their pool area is gorgeous um i don't know really love it this mm -hmm. pinnacle class ships are beautiful yeah we're excited to do more Holland in the future. Yeah. I know. We got some non pinnacle coming up. Yes. So, all right. But that's enough <laughs> yakking. That's a lot. Let's do the digest of the din. Dins. Okay, we're going to talk about our food. So, Pinnacle Grill. Yes. Uh, you started with a shrimp cocktail. Jumbo shrimp cocktail. They were jumbo and they were tasty, cooked to perfection, and I really liked the mar no, not marinara, cocktail sauce. Cocktail. Yeah, the red stuff. <laughs> yeah. That thing. It's really good. Uh, I had the crab cakes, and now I even cut them open and showed them because there was, a, it pretty much was all crab. Mm -hmm. There was not really any filler. They were really good. I saw these little pucks arrive on the table like they were cooked in a muffin tin or something. I'm like, what is going on? They were crispy on the outside. They were crabby on the inside. Like me, when I'm in the sun too long. <laughs> You're not crabby. Yeah, they're good. Uh, <laughs> the little hangy bacon, clothesline bacon. You didn't even I try didn't it. I didn't try it. It was not. so <laughs> sweet. If you've ever had pig candy or candied bacon, maple, very sweet, <laughs> but good. Would I get it again? Yes, I'd get two of them. <laughs> 
sweet pig. Uh, that's your filet uh, mignon. Filet right? mignon with, I got like the mustard cognac sauce cooked mm. perfectly. I love the sauce. It went with it so nicely. It was like that really good mustardy taste that I like. Um, nothing else to say about it. It was well, well done. It was medium. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> Don't order it well done, y'all. If you like it, you do that. No, don't do that. <laughs> I had the, I forgot the chef's name, the chef special. What's David his name? Burke. That guy. Mm -hmm. And it was the uh, sort of, it said beef tenderloin, but it was like a filet mignon with lobster dumplings mm -hmm. or pot stickers. It was good. <laughs> All, every piece of it was good. The steak was just as good as what you said. Cooked perfectly. <laughs> Mm-mm, beefy. The sauce was good. The lobster dumplings were delightfully seafoody. I mean, every flavor you could want in that, it was seasoned well, and it just went so well together. I even took the steak, cut it up, dipped it in that lobster sauce. The sauce was kind of like if you, you know, like a lobster bisque. That's oh. what the sauce was. So it was almost like they took a steak, dumped lobster bisque on it, and gave you some pot stickers. Nice. Uh, and then we had the random sides. I didn't take pictures of those, but they were good. Mushrooms and potatoes. The mushrooms were really good. And potatoes, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. I had beets and blue cheese. The beets <laughs> were really just a vessel to get blue cheese into my mouth because they the blue cheese overwhelmed the beets, I have uh, to say. And it was really just blue cheese. But he's not mad about it. Which I love. Uh, key lime pie. <laughs> At this point, I was not hungry for dessert, but it was tasty. It was very, very sweet. sweet. I'm not a dessert person in general, so for me, it was a little yeah. too sweet. But it did have the nice, bitey, like tart flavor you want in a key lime pie. It didn't bite me enough. I'm a key lime pie man, man, and I do not approve of this key lime pie. Oh. But that's just me. I don't. I don't. It was very sweet, not to my liking. Did not finish. Um, the baked Alaska, good concept. Also very, very sweet. The meringue was super sweet. I scraped it all off and the cake and I just ate the cherries, the cherry Garcia ice cream on the inside. I left the meringue way too sweet for me. Yeah. But, so my, my dessert didn't finish either. Oh. But other than dessert, fantastic. <laughs> And that's it. That's the end of that one. Yeah. All the food overall, if you're still here, hi, yeah, hey. has been fantastic on the ship. Like, especially the main courses I find in the specialty yeah. restaurants have been all really good. And then the dining room, too. I mean, I don't know. Mm -hmm. No complaints about the food, really. That's true. And we do have to say thanks to Holland America Thank Line for you. providing that Pinnacle Grill. It was really good. Yeah. We are going to bed. Yeah. Um, I'm sure people are still here because they're like, when is he going to do that shower thing? When are they going? <laughs> Yo, it's coming up next. It's a good shower. I love it. Good night. Good we'll night. see y'all in the morning. See you then. <laughs> Bye. Y'all remember that shower thing we were talking about? Here it comes. Now it's time for In the Shower with Jay. New Stut and Dom edition. It is pretty nice. Let's peek it. So it is a little wet from recent use, but just look at the floor space. Now it's got lots of floor space this way and pretty good floor space this way. We do have a rack on the bottom, so Mr. David Burke, is that his name? He could come hang some bacon over in here and I would just eat it right off of that. Oh, the crab bar. Controls are pretty good. You've got the on off here, hot cold here. Snack shelf for putting all those Dutch cafe treats. You could put one of those giant cream puffs in there. Mm, it's not triangular though. The apple pie, that's what goes there. Now the Elemis stuff in the shower, it's echo in here. It's really nice. We got shampoo, conditioner, bath and shower stuff. The, the stuff by the sink is also Elemis. The shower head is kind of amazing. This little switch actually controls the water flow. You put it to the left, it makes it less. To the right, makes it more. I haven't seen an on-handle control like that in a hot minute, but that goes up and down. It's almost like a mini rainfall. We've got the clothesline. Grab bar back here. It is a glass door. <laughs> Oh, noisy glass door, but glass door is nice. All right, we have entered the shower. Now let's, oh gosh, there's a spotlight. Let's close this door. Okay. Oh gosh, it's really echoey, y'all. Now I've left this up because we're drying our bathing suit, so forgive this. Now like I said, there is so much space going this way and this way. You could line dance class up in here and it would be amazing. I've got a little bit of logistical issues. This is just a me problem. When you turn sideways and you try to, or you do this and you squat and then you run out of room and your head hits the wall, but it's not bad. Overall, this shower head is amazing. The products in here are awesome. Mm -hmm. Spreadsheet, I gotta, I gotta rely on you. Let's get out of here because it's too echoey. All right, after going back and reviewing the footage of what I believe or my top cruise ship showers ever. We're gonna have to lay this one in. 
Is it gonna take the top spot? Is it gonna be close? I don't know yet, but editing Shay is gonna look at this bird cheating. I guess that's it. It's pretty good, right? Good, good morning. morning. We are back in Fort Lauderdale. Just like that. <laughs> it's about what, 8.30 or just yeah, after. Just a little bit close to it. They've come over the horn and said, hey everybody, all the luggage is out in the terminal. Get off our ship. We're trying to get everybody off by nine because they're going to yeah. Europe. And it's probably a big transition. Oh yeah. So, yeah. This is the last Caribbean mm -hmm. cruise of the season actually. Yeah. But we did check our bags in last night, so we got to go pick them up in the terminal. Woohoo. Um, <laughs> and then adventure continues embarkation shirt is in oh. full effect so you know more good stuff is coming as we continue around the world in 80 ish days that's right had a great time in holland america though mm. can't wait to do it again if you guys are thinking about trying it you definitely should it has yeah. something for everybody lots of families on this week so it was nice to see like all the different generations and i don't know i just it was a great week yeah, especially the pinnacle class ships yes. so we can attest to them sure. so far yeah but we got some other ones coming up so. exactly I guess we'll go ahead and end it here. Mm -hmm. So if you have not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Become a Paromaniac today. Socialize all our media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yep, and until next time, rock, rock on. on. Bye. Bye. Well, we found where all roads converge here on deck two. Reunited and it feels so good. Does it though? Okay, bye. <laughs>